Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to ditch the watercolors and paint with beetroot juice. Yes, that's right. We'll be painting with beetroot juice for the first time. Have you ever wondered what happens when you use unconventional materials to create art? Well, we are about to find out together. Beetroot juice is known for its vibrant color and organic properties, making it a perfect ingredient for our artistic experiment. Ta-da! Here we go. Let's experiment with different techniques and here I'm going to use only water and beetroot juice and a few brushes here and there. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, do subscribe and share and like because you're going to watch more such fun videos in upcoming days. Here I am just painting, uh, trying to paint a loose watercolor flower without using watercolor and with using the beetroot juice. Uh, the juice is not that thick so I don't see it's going to create any problem in painting. In fact, I feel that this is going to be a great medium for painting. Now let's try spreading these colors a bit and creating the petals. Okay, here we go. I think you can see this better now. Yeah. Uh, just take more water on the brush and here we go. Oh my god, this slides so easily. I actually thought the beetroot juice might have some kind of, you know, elements of the beetroot or, you know, it might not be so smooth. But this is super, super smooth, guys. You should definitely try doing this at home. You can make so many unique patterns with this. And this is just like a watercolor. To me right now it's feeling more like a good quality watercolor because it's pigmented and yet it is spreading so easily on the paper and just for you guys to know i'm using a uh, watercolor paper for this experiment because i think uh, since the pigment is also a bit water based since it's a vegetable so i'm guessing watercolor paper would have been a better choice so i went for a watercolor paper I'm just trying out another flower type shape here while I do this I really want you guys to just get out of your comfort zones and try different mediums different papers different kinds of brushes you know just try experimenting with these things rather than getting the painting right every time because we are under so much of pressure on social media to show that how brilliant we are let's chuck that for some time and let's just have fun with you know whatever that is lying around see now you can see how beautifully pigmented the beetroot juice is i don't know why i didn't try this before this looks amazing now i'm going to try this with a flat brush and i'm going to try doing a landscape with this which i'm very bad at so if this turns out bad it might be because I am bad at doing loose watercolor landscapes or loose watercolors generally. Uh, as you can see, the it's very easy to, you know, move the color and create a gradient effect. This especially will be a lot of fun for kids to do. If you have some friends who are in school, you can show this technique to them of painting with beetroot juice without having to buy watercolors this is my failed attempt at uh, drawing random mountains because that is the first thing that you learn to draw <coughs> and yet it is something that i have never mastered a landscape please tell me in comments if i am not the only one who has not mastered the art of making landscape good looking ones uh, here i am just moving the paper a bit so you can see this clearly I think the ring light is definitely obstructing the way the painting is shining. I'm just putting a little bit of beetroot juice here and there. You can see I have a very little amount of beetroot juice because that was from just one beet. And I think uh, if you guys are going to try this, I will recommend you guys just use a mixer to just crush the beetroot so you can get more of the juice uh now i think we should also try doing layering on this one once this is dry now this is some wet on wet techniques that i'm trying here and let's see what happens once this dries we'll know better what it looks like 
also to think of it uh, this these might be the earliest colors that might be used by humans like to paint this and many other things that are lying around in our kitchens like you know you can share in comments if there are some things that you tried painting with and now that i'm thinking aloud uh, there are many things that we can paint with which has a lot of pigment that we use a lot on daily basis be it turmeric be it uh, tea for that matter or onions can we paint with onion juice i don't know how the pigment looks how pigmented it is but we can try we can surely try that's how we learn this is me trying to you know better the landscape which i don't think is looking good anymore i have ruined it already by overworking it here i'm trying another flower uh, this is just to see how different brushes work with the pigment and this is a thinner brush than before and I'm just trying to spread the pigment here and there to see how far it's going and if it is fluid enough and it's perfectly fluid guys yeah so it looks really beautiful I wonder why we stopped painting with these pigments and started using watercolors and acrylics and oils and I don't know what just because it's easier to get I guess you sh guys should definitely try this one out i don't know how this is going to dry out i'll share an update if you guys are interested to watch that as well let me know in comments because i'm going to keep this sheet on the side for a few days and see how the color you know dries out how darker it gets or if it fades away because as you guys know watercolors fade away and become lighter as as they dry but i am guessing since this is a vegetable it might just get darker i don't know here i am just trying uh, layering the paint the pigment i want to see how uh, well this works with layering and i think it works great you can here see the both the layers which are different and it is uh, working quite beautifully here i am just trying to correct the landscape again uh, which i don't think is happening anymore there are some other techniques i want to figure out with this pigment i'm just doing a loose tree here an abstract tree this is because i want to see how easily the brush moves with the pigment and i could sense that the brush is not holding that much of beetroot juice because of course it is too watery uh next time i think if you guys are trying you should also try boiling the beetroot juice it might just uh, create a consistency that is better than this one and uh, yeah i think we should try one more one last thing with this there's one more thing that i want to try is lifting up these colors because watercolors the main aspect of watercolors for me is that once you paint you can even lift up watercolors with a dry brush right and create a lot of textures if this pigment does that nothing like that because this is free and out of that one beetroot juice you can really paint a good painting i am going to try to paint a really nice painting out of this i'm just trying the techniques out here so i have taken a dry brush and i tried to pick up and it picks up paint very nicely uh, we'll check that in some time again i want to see if it picks up the pigment even after it's a bit dry dried out and here i'm just trying to spread the color that that pigment that i had already put down on the sheet and it is not moving so that is one more thing we have learned that once you put down this pigment on paper and you try to move it around it won't move around so it's stable enough to say stay wherever it is so that's not a concern here i am trying the third layer second layer on this one as well to just check again if the layering technique is working and it works very fine i wonder if we can store this this juice i don't know if we can store this in a refrigerator i i think it might get discolored or it might darken in a few days i think this is possible only with fresh beetroot juice and that is a problem i guess because we don't have time to juice beetroots and then make a painting here 
let's now try to pick up the paint uh, sorry the pigment see how it is looking i just want you guys to have a closer look i'm just taking a wet brush now and trying to pick up the pigment from this feather shape and uh, with two times i think it, it should come off easily yeah it is spreading a bit i think if i do this twice and thrice see it's already getting lighter the uh, thing is that the brush is also taking away the pigment and it is also getting pushed to the other side i think it's a very nice pigment to work with even after drying you can push around paint and lift paint what else do you want guys i think this is a very good pigment i'm just trying to do a gradient here again which doesn't look as messy as the one above yeah so this is a simple gradient I'm not trying my hand on landscapes again ever in my life okay not ever i'm going to paint mountains one day i promise you guys i will one day paint a good landscape with loose watercolors okay that's a promise that i have made to you guys and i'm going to finish it someday i'm just try learning with you guys also and i think this journey will be fulfilling only if you guys also participate in this and tell me how you liked this painting this video this this experimentation with uh, beetroot juice i am quite happy with the results i think this is a very good pigment to paint with and you guys should definitely try this out thanks for watching and subscribe subscribe for more videos guys thank you bye